Now, you have um, a movie coming out uh, in about a week or so? That's a Black Panther. Yeah, that's Black Panther, yes. <laughs> it's coming out over there, right? No, well, it's coming out over here on February 16th, uh -huh. um, and it should be coming out in other parts of the world around the same time. There have been a few um, earlier screenings. We already did the, uh, the Black Panther premiere, which was on January 29th um, here in L.A., uh, where I attended, so yeah. So we should have the pleasure of seeing your face on the screen in no, in no time at all, say like in a week or two. That's right. That's right. And hopefully I come back in Black Panther 2. So you got to watch out. <laughs> yeah. T tell me something. Yes. Um, you are in the industry. Um, lately, when I watch movies, I pay attention to the credits. And more often yes. than not, I find Nigerian names of people working behind the scenes. Have you had That's any... That's right. That's uh, right. You know, um, um, relationship or rapport with any of these Nigerians. And I'm always very proud when I see Nigerian names and I say, these are all people who are stuck out there and are looking forward to the day yeah. they're going to be able to come home and do things to Nigerian movies. Yes. That is exactly what I think as well. I see the same thing. You know, I look at, you know, um, on Blackish, you know, one of the writers, two of the writers are actually Nigerian, mm -hmm. um, and one of the producers as well. You know, this, the Nigerians everywhere, they're kind of like, a, you know, it's all of a sudden there's a resurgence of Nigerians, you know, that are based here, uh, that are all thespians and, you know, involved in this um, entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. um, and I see the power of Nollywood. And my dream is, why can't we just merge the two somehow? You know, why can't we, we have the stories that we can tell from Nollywood, bring that into Hollywood. And I'm feeling that that's probably going to happen sooner rather than we think. So uh, I think we should watch this space. But that would be, it. that's, that's my hope as well. Well, I think um, Nollywood is creeping in there slowly, but it is getting there. We, mm -hmm. We're getting uh, people like Genevieve Naji taking part in some Hollywood movies and all that. So we're looking forward to seeing more of you yes. in that space. Absolutely. I, I would love to work in Nollywood. Nobody's approached me yet. So, you know, I've been saying that <laughs> I want to work with some other, <laughs> you know, I mean, come on. I want to work with my people. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they hadn't heard of you. Maybe. Oh, well, they, I, hopefully they've heard of me now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shock back. Um, Yes. Some of the movies you've done, let, and I'll just take you back to one of them, which is one of my favorite um, modern-day musical, Pitch Perfect. Yes. Are you going yes. to be part of the third, um, the third piece? No, I wasn't. No, no, no. The storyline completely changed. Um, so mm. um, I played, actually, I spoke French I, in that film, um, the last one. So... No, I did. I wasn't approached. The movie's already out. Um, it came out about, I don't know if it's out in Nigeria, but it came out about two months ago, Pitch Perfect 3. Um, so, no, I wasn't part of it. The, the journey of the Bellas w yeah. went somewhere else. Okay. Yeah. So, so for, one who, for one who is musically inclined, how did yeah. you feel being on that movie? And are you looking for other musical pieces you'll, be, you'll want to be a part of? Oh, yeah. You know, I just, um, first of all, I was, I love uh, working with female directors and Elizabeth Banks is a female director and because you, know, you see, you rarely see that. I love working with females. I love working with black directors, and, you know, African directors, anybody that, you know, is just like in the minority. Uh, and so I was excited to work with her on that project. Um, and, um, you know, I love working. I, I would love to be in a musical. I remember years ago, I tried to get into Joyful Noise. I don't know if you remember that movie with Queen yes. Tifa. Uh, yes, I, I, I tried my best. I danced my footsteps. I, you know, I went through a full audition, through a full tread audition where I had to dance, different chore choreographic moves and sing, but I didn't get the part. So that's part of, you know, so this one I'm chalking up to, you know, maybe there's another one in my future that is, uh, is going to be there. So I'm looking forward to that. Absolutely. Um, I've just seen clips of you. Burn Notice. I mean, I mean why I like Burn Notice. I mean, why it's, <laughs> um, America's Most Wanted. And the other two way had to play the role of an African. Um, but 
African or West Indian or whatever. He's a Haitian, actually. Haitian, right? yeah. Haitian. Oh, okay. oh yeah. I, I was wondering. Mm -hmm. Okay, but let's yeah. see. Um, these are things you've done. Yeah. What's your plan going forward? What's in the works? Well, um, as I said, I'm here in on, uh, Hollywood in California because I want to. I want to book a series regular. I, I want to do it this season. This is my time, and I want to do it, and I'm committed to doing it. And um, my manager has said, you know, I need to. I need to be here in order for me to to uh, be seen by the casting, etc. Um, it's been a struggle before because obviously I've always wanted to go home. The minute I shoot here, I literally do turn around on a red eye and I want to go home to my kids and my husband. And he's like, well, you're going to have to be away from them for now. If you So I'm sacrificing that time with my family because I want to get to that level um, of being a series regular. So that is my goal. And that is, uh, in addition to that, I want to I want to work in bigger projects. Um, I want the doors to open for me now. So hopefully uh, Black Panther will give me that platform to um, afford me that opportunity. You, you, you said earlier that you, you're, you have the support of your family. So this one, you're sacrificing that time with them. How's yes. your husband taking it? Oh my gosh, he's so supportive. Very, very supportive. Um, he is finally a believer. It wasn't easy in the beginning. He didn't see the dream that I had uh, over nine years ago when I gave up my corporate career. He didn't understand it. Um, he's like, I mean, are you crazy? This is like similar to what my parents had said when, you know, and I, and I said, no, I think I, this is what I want to do. I want to see if I'm any good at it. And I feel that if, they, if I'm not good at it, then this desire that God has placed inside me will go away, and it never did. And so, it, you know, over the years, he saw how tenacious I was and how committed I was, and he was just slowly watching how serious I was about this. Um, so fast forward to the Black Panther premiere, when he's there on the red carpet and my kids are there, I honestly, it was a God moment for me, because we turned around to each other and we said, this, this, is, this is what it's about. All that hard work is finally paying off. And the sacrifices as well. So he saw them firsthand. So he's such a big supporter and fan of mine. I'm so, I'm so proud and happy to be married to him. And by the way, where's home? Home is Miami, Florida. So I, I live in both Miami and LA. Okay. Um, so primarily most of my, my kids are schooling in Miami, Florida. So... Uh, that's on the East Coast. Okay. Mm. All right, then all we can do now, I just wish you all the best. And we Thank hope you. that um, Black Panther will be showing here soon so that we can go watch and give you a call. Oh, yeah, we've seen you on the big screen. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Please go watch it. Let's break all these uh, box office records. So, yeah, we want to we make sure this 90% Black Cast movie sets the record straight for Hollywood. Great. It should make a difference. Great. So if you're going to give, have a word for your colleagues back here in Nigeria in Nollywood, what would it be? Like, I want to work with you guys, okay? Can you just, like, <laughs> give me an opportunity? Give me a chance here, you know? How many times do I have to say it, you know? I ain't got no calls. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Shokwe Aluko, Nigerian-born actress who is uh, in the Black Panther and has done a lot of other work to you. God bless you and may your, how do they say that, may your stars shine brighter as the day dawns. Thank you so much. God bless you too. God bless you. So that's Sunrise for today. We had a wonderful time bringing it to you and we also hope that you enjoyed watching us this morning. Mm -hmm. We'll bring you a fresh edition next Saturday. My name is Alero Edu and I wish you a very happy Valentine's Day next week. Valentine's Day happens to fall on Ash Wednesday. Well, as they say in French, soissage. <laughs> Mix both of them up adequately and have fun. Just go out there and love. <laughs> you don't need a particular day to love. Just love every day. But it's been fun being here with you. And we do hope that you'll be with us again same time next week. I'm Neo Taibe. As you go out, have yourself the rest of a beautiful day. And be the best citizen you can be. Love your neighbor as yourself. And value human lives. God bless you. Bye.